All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today, I'm going to show off my entire Tad Williams collection of books and things. I mean, I've got all the Tad Williams hardcovers, all the Tad Williams paperbacks. I've even got some Michael Whalen prints of Tad Williams book covers. Not only that, I collect, I collect everything Tad Williams book. I, co I even collect popsicles that match up with the, co the colors of his other land books. I mean, I got popsicles the exact same color of his books. You know, you can't make this stuff up, people. You cannot make this stuff up. Popsicles that match exactly to his book covers. That's how insane and obsessed I am with Tad Williams books. So let's get into it, folks. Another one of the things, one of the great, one of the best things about my collection is over the years, as me being a writer, I've, uh, I mean, I, um, I have the same agent, I have the same literary agent as Tad Williams. I've met the guy, and we've hung out, and he was even kind enough to give me a blurb on my second novel. So I've got a blurb there by Tad Williams. I don't know if you can see it. But Tad Williams writes about my writing. Durfee writes with guts, heart, and a powerful and obvious love for the fantasy genre. So, yeah, not only is uh, Tad Williams probably my second favorite author after Stephen King, if not my favorite author entirely, but he also is now a good friend and someone who, who has recommended my book. So let's get into it. Let's start with the let's start with the Michael Whalen art. You know, Michael Whalen did the cover of Dragon Bone Chair. I got a nice Michael Whalen print here of that cover. You can see the cover on the paperback here. The hardcover also. I've got a cover. I've got a print of Stone of Farewell. And now let's get into the books. If that stays up, that'll fall. You know, everything on my set usually falls down, and these things are going to fall any moment now. Let's hope not. So let's get into the Tad Williams book collection. I have got a ton of Tad Williams books signed. As I said, I've met the, I've met the gentleman several times, hung out, had dinner, sat on panels. If you want to watch... If you want to watch the panel me and Tad Williams did on how to get published, just type into YouTube, Brian Lee Durfee, Tad Williams, and then Literary Agents, and it will come up. We did a great panel at Comic-Con about how to get published, how to get an agent, how to, how, to, how to do all of that. Me and Tad, it was a great video. It's about an hour long. I posted it on my channel somewhere, but you're going to just have to type it in and find it. So let's talk about my... First exposure to Tad Williams was, of course, the Dragon Bone Chair. I bought this the day it came out in 1986. I read it. This is the copy that I have. Tad Williams signed it to me. Now, if I've got any of these books, in, well, I'm probably not going to show you every signed book, but I've got a ton of them signed. This one is for Brian. Thank you for the honor of being at least in part possible for your own writing career. A great pleasure to meet you. Tad Williams. So great, great. We're starting off, starting off the collection on a high note. And just so you know, I have every Tad Williams book in hardcover and paperback. So we will show you those. And then here's my uh, Stone of Farewell. Man, I anticipated this book. I, I, I loved The Dragon Bone Chair. I, I was obsessed with it. I read it five, six, seven, eight times before Stone of Farewell came out. And I was just waiting and waiting daily for this thing to come out. This one's also signed. To, for Brian, with all possible best wishes, Tad Williams. Another signed. Um, well, let's put them like this. And then, 
if you thought I was, if you thought I was eagerly anticipating Stone of Farewell, oh my god, to Green Angel Tower, I read Dragonbone Chair and Stone of Farewell about ten times each, and then to Green Angel Tower, it didn't come out till three uh, three years later. I mean, people, those those of you that think you've waited a long time for George R. R. Martin or or Patrick Wathfuss, I mean, the original guy that people were waiting for was Tad Williams to come out with this big tome to Green Angel Tower. And, uh, man, I, I was, I was wait, I, I, I stalked the bookstores for years waiting for this thing to come out. And then it finally came out, and, man, was I delighted that it was so huge. Okay, to Brian, from that old guy, you may be one day. Warning, warning, prepare to be cranky. <laughs> Two drinks in. So yeah, he signed this one. We were we were at the bar there at Spencer's Steakhouse in Salt Lake City and he signed this one. We had already we were already a little a little tipsy from the drinks when he wrote that one. And that is my original trilogy right there. We'll put them up. And then when the Green Angel Tower was a big book, so they split the uh they split the paperbacks into uh, two pieces. You know, I always liked how on the front it had a wraparound to this great painting on the back. And so when the uh, when the paperback came out, they used the uh, front and the back. And that is the um, that's my original dragon bone chair. Surely I'm getting a little thirsty, so we're gonna we're gonna eat a little bit of these popsicles as we go. So let's put those back, and then let's look at. We'll edit all these parts where I put books back. Let's go and look at his um, extension. You know, he did the um, the heart of what was lost. Another, another. Sort of a bridge. This is book is sort of a bridge between his next trilogy set in Austin Ard, which is, of course, started with the Witchwood Crown. And we've got another signed book here for Brian. Hard to think of things to put in books when I sign them, so I'll just say we're doing something cool and important as aren't we lucky to be writers? Yeah. And then we've got, I've, of course, I've also got the uh, paperbacks of those, both of those. And then we've got the uh, Tad Williams' Empire of Grass, book two in his second trilogy. Um, the reason I did this, uh, the reason I did this uh, video was because I just went and bought the paperback version of it. Because, you know, I always have the paperback and the hardcovers. And uh, so that's that right there. And... Uh, Believe it or not, I also have all of these on audible.com. Now, I don't have any of them on ebook because I don't read ebooks because I hate the ebooks. I hate them. Hate them. So let's put those back. Uh, this, this video is going to be hella long because I'm going to go through each book individually. Hey, it's my Tad Williams book collection. I got to show you all of it. Other Land. Let's go through the Other Land books. Or no, let's leave the other land books for last. Let's do War of the Flowers. War of the Flowers. Yeah, that's a great Wilt Tad Williams. This is a, his one standalone fantasy, War of the Flowers. And then um, I've got his short story collection, uh, The Very Best of Tad Williams. Great, great looking book there. We've got, um, we've got his first book, Tail Chaser song about the cats. I've got a paperback of that somewhere, I know. I don't know where the paperback vanished to. Trust me, I got it. Cats I... To Brian, cats I had. Nothing better to write about. Boring life, I guess. And then we've got this other... Um, Tad Williams short story collection called Right. Right. I think that's a play on words. And then we've got his, um, The Dirty Streets of Heaven, his Bobby Dollar series. Sort of like his take, it's kind of like a little bit of a Dresden Files-ish. Um, if you want to get into more of the Tad Williams modern fantasy, 
We've got this um, trilogy, um, Happy Hour in Hell. Sleeping Late on Judgment Day. And the first book in the trilogy is The Dirty Streets of Heaven, which I have here. Signed, For Brian, This Character is Pretty Much Me, Tad Williams. It's a good trilogy. A good trilogy is a nice, a nice, uh, uh, he did a nice job uh, on his urban fantasies. Let's get into Shadow March. Let's do Shadow March next. Shadow March, yes. Another great Michael Whalen painting. Another great Michael Whalen painting. Um, and then book number two, Shadow Play. Book number three, Shadow Rise. Book number four, Shadow Heart. And again, I have them all in paperback. Shadow March, Shadow Play, Shadow Right, and Shadow Heart. All of them. Now let's do. Now let's do what I think is probably the most underrated science fiction series ever written, and that is Tad Williams' Otherland series. These books are dope. Not only are these books dope. Not only are these books dope. I got, I got, I got both the card and uh, and I've got the popsicle to match. You know they're starting to melt. I'll edit that part out too. Um, other land, other land, a great, great under, underappreciated and often overlooked science fiction classic. And Tad Williams himself wrote to me, For Brian, perhaps my favorite of my own works. And I can see why. Because I think uh, Tad Williams told me when he, he, he wrote these books because he had so many ideas floating through his head and he, he came up with this virtual reality science fiction series so he could cram every single idea he, he's ever had into these virtual reality stories. And man, these things are dynamite. And I've got, of course, I showed you the paperbacks that I've all got. But let's look at the um, series. We've got book one, book two, Otherland. You know, I got the paperback and the um, hardcover and the... Uh, Popsicle to match. We'll edit this part out. Oh, yes, we'll edit all that out for sure. Other land, mountain of black glass. Again, you always have to get the hardcover, the paperback, the audible.com version. And the popsicle that matches. It's just the way you collect books, folks. And then very last in my Tad Williams collection. Sea of Silver Light. Sea of Silver Light. Now, I do have a purple popsicle downstairs. I should have brought it up. I should have brought it up here. But I wanted to save that one for later. Anyway, so that is my Tad Williams collection. Collection that's pretty darn dope. If you ask me, I probably forgot part of it somewhere out here. I got a lot of Tad Williams stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. So I've done a J.R.R. Tolkien collection. This is my Tad Williams collection. And we will be getting, we will be doing my Robert Jordan, Brandon Sanderson, Steven Erickson. We're going to do all the collections on the channel eventually.